Right, so we're now ready to actually upload files to S3. This is in itself really useful. So you can see that at the moment my bucket is empty. We remember have stored the name of the bucket inside of here so we can change it later if we need to just to make it a little bit easier. And we're all connected up to our client and we can make API calls to AWS. Okay, so over in upload.php, all we've done at the moment is requiring app start.php, which gives us that S3 variable that we can make uh, method calls on. So let's create a basic document that would allow us to upload files. So let's change the title to upload and let's create a form with a post action. And obviously what we're also gonna need to do is change the ink type to multi-part form data. And inside of here then, Let's create an input type of a file. Let's give this a name of file and we can get rid of the ID for now safely. We don't really need that. And we'll also create a submit uh, input as well and we'll just call this upload. So at the moment, all we have is here. Pretty much straightforward. We click choose a file and we hit upload and we want that to upload directly to our bucket here. So the file that we're going to be uploading is inside of this files directory. We saw this earlier. It's just called uploadme.txt, but you can upload any file really. So most of this is just going to be standard PHP uploading stuff. What we want to do is we want to store this in a temporary directory, and then we want to go ahead and then upload that to S3. So let's go ahead and do this now. We obviously need to check if this file has been uh, sent through. Remember the action of this form is going to be the current page. This might be different for you. But in this case, we just want to post straight back to this as we're just uh, looking at this as an example, really. So we're going to check then if inside the files super global, we have that file available. Uh, so in here, that now means that that is available and we can start accessing the properties of that file, uh, use the move uploaded file function in PHP to move it somewhere and then go ahead and actually upload it. So we want to access that and store it in a little variable here. So file equals uh, the file super global at this file key. Remember, this relates to the name of the file that you're uploading. Let's grab some file details now. Um, I'm going to grab the name of it. So this is just going to be file name. We want to grab the temp name. So that's just keyed at TMP underscore name. Now we want to grab the extension of this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to explode the file name by a dot. So that's going to give us uh, an array. Then what we can do is we can convert this to lowercase and we can grab the end value of that array. So at the moment, if we just do a var dump on extension, we can see that if we choose a file here, so upload me.txt and we upload that, we get an array back. We want to grab this value here. So we can do that using the end function in PHP. Now we will get a, uh, a standards error. So we need to create this in a new variable. And we're going to say we want to grab the end of extension. And then we want to go ahead and make this lowercase. So str to lower. So we've now got the extension stored. Let's carry on and let's give this some temporary details. And this is for basically storing on our uh, in our files directory. Um, you might likely have somewhere that you're temporarily storing files, which you can remove afterwards. We're actually going to be removing the temporary file once it's been uploaded to our local server. So let's create a key then. And this is just going to be an MD5 of uh, the unique ID function. So that's just going to give us a randomish hash. And then we're going to say TMP file name. This is going to be the key that we've just created. And then we're going to have a dot and then the extension. So we're keeping the same extension. So now we need a path to store this in on our local machine. So this is going to be TMP file path. This is going to be under files and then the TMP file name or the temporary file name that. So we're basically storing that if we just do a file dump on TMP file path. Let's just upload this once more. 
And there we go. So that's going to be the name of the temporary file that we're uploading. So now that we've got that temporary file name, we can actually go ahead and move the file. So we're going to be using move uploaded file. This takes a file name and a destination. We know the file name. It's the TMP name. And then remember that comes from the file super global. And then we want to move this into a destination and that's going to be the temporary file path. So if we get this far, then what's going to happen is if we just choose that file again, that's going to upload that and that's going to place that inside of our files directory here. So that's just the temporary file. Then what we want to do is move this file over to S3 and into our bucket. So we're going to wrap this in a try catch because we can catch an S3 exception, uh, which means that the file couldn't be uploaded. So before we do anything, let's catch that exception. It's just called S3 exception and we'll name that E. And in here, let's just kill the page and say there was an error uploading that file. You would most likely handle this in a nicer, more graceful, uh, better way. But we'll leave that as it is for now. Now, this is also namespaced under AWS S3 extension. So let's import this at the top. So it's AWS S3 exception and then the name of that exception. So now we actually want to make a call to the API to put this object in a specific bucket. We know that we, uh, we well, we know the name of the bucket and remember we've stored that in our configuration so we can just access that config variable that we pulled in from that file require. Okay, so um, this is extremely easy to use. We're just going to put an object. So we call this put object method. This is gonna take an array of options the first thing that we're going to do is specify the bucket that we want to place this into. So remember that comes from our config, it comes from S3, and that comes from bucket. So we now know the name of the bucket. You can hard code this into here, but it's much better coming from configuration in case you need to make any changes. You might have a bucket specifically for videos, you might have a bucket specifically for images. Uh, it's entirely up to you. Now we need to specify the key. Now the key is going to be where we actually store this on Amazon S3. So in this case, I'm going to store it in a file uh, folder called uploads, and I'm going to give the name of the file. So in this case, it's the original file name that we uh, uploaded. You might want to use this um, key to actually store the file, just so you don't have any file overwrites or anything like that. Uh, but it's entirely up to you how you name things and, and how it makes sense for you. Now the body is the actual resource, so we need to send a resource here. This is going to be opening up the uh, file that we copied over to files a moment ago. So we can use fopen for this. And all we're doing here is we pass in the location of that file. And we know the location of that file because we created a variable called TMP file path that we're moving that file to. We need to provide how we want to uh, access this and, or if we want to open it for writing or reading. In this case, we're opening, you know, opening it for reading. And then we need to uh, set the uh, access control level. So in this case, we're going to say public read. But if you need to store these for perhaps so they're not publicly available, you can just go ahead and look that up uh, on uh, Amazon and it will give you a list of, uh, of what you can do with these permissions. So what that's going to do then is actually upload the file to S3. But what we want to do is remove the temporary file from our server. We don't really want to store them. So we're going to use unlink to remove that. So TMP file path, that's going to remove the file. So remove the file. Okay, so we're pretty much done here. All we need to do is test this out. So let's refresh here and hit choose file and let's choose the upload me.txt. So remember that's going to upload it to our files directory as a temporary file. I just happen to have this one in here, but this would obviously be uh, coming from the user's computer somewhere. And then we're going to head over to S3 here and see that that's been uploaded inside an uploads directory and that file will then exist. So let's give this a try. Let's hit upload. And there we go. So if we head over to S3 here and give this a little refresh, we can see that we have this uploads directory that's been created. And then inside of there, we've got uploadme.txt. If we just head over to properties here, we can go ahead and click on the publicly accessible link here 
and you can see that that gives us the correct file, the one that we uploaded. So that's how easy it is to upload files with uh, the S3 PHP SDK or the AWS SDK. Next, we're going to look at actually listing files within a bucket in case you need to do that for outputting them to either yourself or your user.